Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of cholelithiasis. A 35 year old male patient came with right upper abdominal pain. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the section of the gallbladder. It's a magnified view with a curvilinear transducer. You can see a polypoid mass within the gallbladder. Now while you're starting the ultrasound scan, you'll get confused between polypoid mass and gallbladder stone because there is no posterior acoustic shadow here and its margin is irregular. So apparently it looks like a mass and even in this view, you can see it looks like arising from the gallbladder wall. So that makes a confusion. Now how can you differentiate between the mass and calculus? You may say that the calculus should cast posterior acoustic shadow, but if it is a soft calculus, then there will be no posterior acoustic shadow. Or even if it is a mass, there might be internal calcifications which can cast posterior acoustic shadow. You can put color Doppler. The gallbladder masses are notorious, so they show internal high vascularity. But if it is a polypoid lesion with your poor quality machine, there may not be internal vascularity shown by the machine. So these are confusing states. Again, it's a larger stone. If you change the posture of the patient, there may not be a very well movement of the stone. We have done here, but we also couldn't see the movement of a stone from the fundus to the neck region because it's a large one and there is a mucosal fold here which prevents it to move from fundus to the neck region. Now what to do? As the lesion is adjacent to the fundus, we use the high frequency transducer. With high frequency, we have changed the patient's posture from left lateral to right lateral. Now you can see the stone is moving from left to right. Now this type of slight movements can be well visualized with high frequency ultrasound. So the mass already got excluded and our diagnosis is a soft calculus. Here is a picture. The maximum diameter of this stone is 23 millimeter. Here is again another picture. We move the patient and try to understand the movement of a stone with posture changing, but it's not well understandable with low frequency ultrasound. Again, another picture of the calculus. Here you can see a small amount of posterior acoustic shadow. As this lesion looks quite irregular, we can easily use 3D ultrasound to further evaluate the shape of the stone. Here with 3D ultrasound you can see the stone looks irregular in shape. And the picture of the stone and this is the mucosal fold for which the stone couldn't move from fundus to the neck region. So, in summary, a bright echogenic structure without casting posterior acoustic shadow but moving along the posture changing is noted within the gallbladder lumen, suggesting it a soft calculus within the gallbladder. Now the take home message. The neck of the gallbladder is well visualized putting the probe longitudinally at the right subcostal region or at the right lower intercostal spaces with a sound beam directing towards the gallbladder. This is a good approach to find out tiny stones at the neck region which is commonly missed in our practice. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and visit imagingstudy.com for more cases. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.